us. And we will pray for him. Oops, I turned pages. Well, that's what happens. Our story is about. Can you read that word? It starts with an H. H O N O R. Honor, Lisa. What is that? Honor. Yes, honor. So we were talking about giving honor, and oh, I've got a Speedy Gonzalez thing. And there's even a special way to fold the flag. When you fold the flag, there's a special way to, to fold it. And that means that you're treating it differently, or you know you're showing that it's special, you're showing that it's important. Um, if you look at this, who knows who these people are? Hey, all oh, you support. Pathfinders, yes. And these are actually pathfinders. You can see that they've got some honor badges there because they studied something, and then they were presented with that, and that showed that, that they they deserved they deserved that, right? Because they did all the hard work. In fact, some of these pathfinders they'll memorize a whole chapter in the Bible, and then they'll go to a big convention and they'll learn how to. They'll get asked questions, and they sit in a team, so it's not just one person, but the team figures out what the answer to that Bible question is. And then they get a Bible uh, convention honor. Oh, what do they look like? They look like parents, right? Are we supposed to honor your father and your mother? Tell mommy and daddy that they're special and that they're important? And we treat them differently, don't we? We give them love and we pray for them. And even if they do something bad, we pray for them because they're important. And then this is a Bible verse, and it says, Give to everyone what you owe them. Okay, so we shouldn't have debts. Pay your taxes and government fees to those who collect them, and give respect and honor to those who are in authority. People don't like people in authority anymore. Did you notice that? Nobody tells me what to do. <coughs> don't tell me what to do. I'll tell you. Isn't it the way it is? And that is our old self, right? Our old self that wants us just to be selfish and all about us. But our new self that we get from Jesus is going to do this like it says. Here's another verse I thought was interesting. And from the easy to read version, I never even knew there was such a version. But it says, give everyone what you owe them. If you owe them any kind of tax, then pay it. Show respect to those you should, you should respect. And show honor to those you should honor. So it means you make them feel special, doesn't it? You show them honor. Well, here's somebody else that we should honor. And here's a whole Bible verse about it. It says in Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 7. What is that little picture up there, do you think? What does that look like? <coughs> yes, somebody's doing preaching. He's got a Bible. Obey your spiritual leaders and be willing to do what they say. For their work is to watch over your souls. Oh, that's a lot of work to look out for all the people in the church and watch over their souls. And God will judge them on how well they do this. Not us. God will judge them, right? And then the last part is give them reason to report joyfully about you to the Lord and not with sorrow, for then you will suffer for it too. Give the pastors reason to be happy. Because just like when mom has a bunch of kids and some of them are really naughty, does it make mom happy or sad? It would make mom sad, right? Well, the pastor has a bunch of kids to look after, and he has to report back to God about them. And so he says prayers for you. You may not know it, but the pastor says prayers for you. And then the good news is, if we're doing what Jesus wants us to do, can the pastor make a happy report? Yeah, he can make... Give reason to report joyfully about you to the Lord. 
just the way when you pray for people, it's nice to be happy about that. You can say, oh, thank you that my friends are doing are doing what's right, or thank you that they're going to church and reading their Bibles. And we're going to have a quick prayer for that right now, okay? Father in heaven, let's bow our heads. Father in heaven, we want to thank you that when we are honoring your word in our hearts, that our pastors can be happy to say to the Lord, our families, my church family is loving you, Lord, and that's a good report. May we always be part of the answer and not part of the problem, for we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. You can go back to your seats now.